History for Sale, take three. And it all started out with me wanting to contact an architectural firm. I jumped on this website while looking for someone to talk to. A little chat window popped on in the corner here like they do. And someone asked how can they help me. And more specifically, he said, can I help you get a free estimate for your construction project? And I said, yes. I said, I would like to build a replica of the Palace of Fine Arts Rotunda. I would like one in my backyard. He said, our local experts will help you find qualified contractors and provide you estimates and quotes for your project. Then he asked a little bit more about my project. And he asked me if I was willing to take a quick call. I said yes, and I never heard back from him. And while I was waiting for the call, both excited and anxious, I began doing a little research, and specifically I was looking for a cost. I felt like I'd read it before, but I wanted to know what the cost was in 1915. And furthermore, as much as I've covered this subject before, I did not recall the little bit that the structure was completely rebuilt from 1964 to 1974. Completely rebuilt in 10 years, beginning in 1964. And that's where we'll begin today's video. Was the Palace of Fine Arts rebuilt in 1964? We'll have a little look and see what we can see. Welcome. So here we can see a picture in 1919, and this is only a few years after the fair, and this baby looks run down, overgrown, in a swampland. How does this make any sense? And this is a view of it today, after its reconstruction in 1964. And I don't see anything different with these two buildings. The old one looks identical to this new one. They tell us the reconstruction cost about 15 million in 1964. 15 million, and the thing looks identical. Not wavering one bit from its final look. And this is 1964, they're telling us. And yet everything that we see prior to the supposed reconstruction looks completely weathered and old. And it's pretty much supposed to be new construction at this point. And really, I'm wondering if this narrative has changed. Remarkable enough to imagine building not just this Palace of Fine Arts and Rotunda, but the entire city, as we can see here. The Palace and Rotunda are just this little part right here. That's all that's left. And we're told it was a lot of arm twisting to get the funding to rebuild this little section here. Again, $15 million in the 60s. Such a struggle in the 60s, and yet this whole city was no problem in 1915. Shortly after an earthquake that supposedly rocked this city. Pretty much leveling it, according to the narrative. And yet, they were able to pump this city out. I don't care what it's built of. I would still be impressed if it was made of dung. And what we see is projects getting more and more difficult as time goes on. And after a little research, I found this article on the reconstruction of this Palace of Fine Arts. And here we can see one. And looking like legit construction photos, but again, only to tear something like this down and replace it with the exact same thing. And my question in this segment is whether or not this is the same exact building. So here, one of the first suspicious things I see is during the reconstruction, there's people strolling around, and you'll see many more coming up. And most of the structure does not seem to have been completely demolished, as they're telling us. Perhaps they were doing some restorations. And here we're told this is restoration 
I don't think there's anything wrong with this. And here we're told some original masonry from the palace was auctioned to raise more funds to pay for the renovations. So we're told they're auctioning off this building as they're tearing it down so they can raise money to rebuild it. Very suspicious. And here we have a picture of what looks like half of the building being torn down. And they do show us a few pictures of parts of the building coming down or remaining half intact, such as this one. And again, I don't just focus on the pictures. The pictures do tell part of the story, but pictures can be tampered with. It's the narrative that is the most questionable to me. And not just what I have shared, but dozens of other channels, many presenting better cases than myself. And here again we can see the original work. Seems like scaffolding has been put up, and have they demolished this whole roof? Here's someone working on a sculpture that looks like garbage, and I think they're full of it when they tell us that they completely tore this structure down in 1964. The original palace was completely demolished, and I don't think so. And I do have a final theory on all this as of today, but let's look at a few more of these pictures. Again, this art looks like sh and much of the vegetation will not change. And I think that this is possibly in response to many of the questions we've had. And I don't care what they say these buildings were made of. I would still be impressed if we found that they were packed with twigs and sawdust. And while I was chatting with this guy today, even over a chat, I could feel that my request was taken or received as crazy. And I will follow up. Amazing how poor these photos are for 1964. And again, what is wrong with this building? Let's just imagine that this is a real picture, not edited in any way. What is wrong with this building? At this point, it's been standing for over 50 years, and we're told they're tearing it down only to reconstruct it in the exact same fashion. Now, another strange thing is that this building, in all its glory and history, was merely added to the National Registry of Historic Places on December 5th of 2005. 2005, are you kidding me? Why is the most beautiful and historical part of San Francisco only being added to the registry in 2005? First of all, if we're to believe their wild story, and this building was reconstructed in 1964, should it even qualify to be added to the Registry of Historic Places? It's essentially a new building, according to the narrative. Completed in 1975, why would you even add it to the Historic Registry? To me, this is an absolute conflict, and I'm not sure. Again, we could look at a picture, but when we read this narrative, how does this make any sense? Here we are told in the caption, Two young folks in love with the view of the Palace of Fine Arts. Even this is a lie. These people are so old. And this doesn't look like a new construction site. People just strolling around. And here we see a wrecking ball in mid-air in 1964. Here a man carrying wood. And this is Dave Lewis, the project director for Morris Knudsen for the reconstruction of the palace, 1965. So here it appears as if everything is gone, and yet something looking a little strange here. As always, I don't know. I'm simply pointing out all the anomalies I could find. And this looks really safe, and is this real or a work of art? Something else to auction off, perhaps? And this doesn't look legit at all. Look how tiny the columns look right here, like toothpicks. And then this massive column right here. Something doesn't look right about this. What is wrong with the scale of this picture? And more smashing? And just a little 
tourist attraction. Why not just let people stroll around this seemingly dangerous site? Oh yeah, just bring the kids back here. It really makes a lot of sense. And here, looking as old as could be, we're told during the reconstruction, 1966. So this is after we saw the man leaning up on the wall up here, overlooking a completely demolished site. And here she is in 58, all lit up. So this would have been before the demolition. They tell us it was in absolute ruins, but really just looking like it needs a landscaper. Here in 1965, 1966, and in 61. Looks like someone has just taken a wrecking ball to this corner, and the heads have been removed. Probably sold at auction, as we read earlier. So let me get into my final conclusions. I think that there was never a World's Fair in 1915. What I think is this is the condition that this site had sat in upon its inheritance in the early 1900s. I think the site sat in ruins until the 60s. Again, there was not a World's Fair in 1915. And in 1965, or maybe even 10 years before that, they did renovate these fairgrounds, or just parts of them, and created a whole portfolio and falsification of the World's Fair. I hypothesize that all of the photos have been staged, and the people wore old-fashioned attire and strolled around, creating an impression of a fair in 1915, and then eventually demolished everything except for this one building. And I wish I would have found this back in 2020. Artemis gives us a nice tour of different vantage points at this Palace of Fine Arts. He was actually trying to disprove this community, but I think he may have misunderstood at least my position. He wanted to show that this palace was not made of stone, that it was made of concrete and rebar. And I was never opposed to it being made of concrete and rebar. I have no doubt such things were used in the old world and of an even better quality than we find today. And here we can see an excellent close-up of this concrete and how old it looks. To me, right away, this does not look like some 1960s concrete. And we can see what they have done as far as restoration goes. These corners appear to have been touched up. But this looks as old as any Roman concrete found in the old world. And when we see these pictures of a wooden cord structure being torn down, I think this may be a model. And we recently saw a model city of San Francisco being burned down. And no doubt, the effects that they would use in film would also be used to falsify our narrative. This looks like the same old structure we see in 1915. And this concrete looking much older than 1960s concrete, showing all the weathering of at least a hundred years, to be generous. But the last thing I want to show you, again to add to my hypothesis, is the absolute ruined condition that this thing is sitting in. Not only are sculptures missing their toes, and algae, and crumbling of everything, and this rebar just sticking out all over the place. The man Artemis broke off a chunk and brought it back to his car. Once again, is this the aging of a piece of 1960s rebar? But it gets better. The thing is covered with symbols that we know were hijacked in World War II and are clearly symbols of the old world. But if this structure was renovated in 1960 plus, Surely, they would have chosen a different mold for this facading. Surely, by now, this symbol had been perverted. But my favorite are the statues in the rotunda. There are massive statues in this rotunda, as we see here. One atop of each column, and at least half of them are missing their heads. And this is not out in the elements. This should be a protected area. And again, 
I'll conclude with one final question. If this was reconstructed as the narrative now tells us in 1960, why are these statues missing their heads? So that's it for today. I thank you so much for joining me, and do have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe.